A compound isolated from spider venom can replace Viagra. Brazilian spider mites are one of the most venomous spiders in the world. Their bite is extremely painful and causes a number of symptoms. And in some cases it can even result in death. But spider toxin, although dangerous, may prove to be an effective remedy for erectile dysfunction. In research on the toxin of spiders from the Phonutria nigriventa species, one of the most poisonous spiders in the world, scientists from the Universidade Federal de Minas Gerais, UFMG, in Brazil developed a peptide whose effect may be a good remedy for potency. Spiders of the genus Phonutria called Brazilian wandering spiders, inhabit tropical regions of South and North America. Phonutria nigriventa is sometimes called the Brazilian wandering spider or banana spider, due to the fact that it can often be found in banana leaves. It is an aggressive creature and its venom contains strong neurotoxins. The bite is very painful and causes convulsions, cramps, profuse sweating and weakness. In some cases it can even prove fatal. But the bite of this spider can also cause priapism, especially in young men. It is an involuntary, long-lasting erection. This may seem harmless, but as stung men a test, it is an unpleasant experience that causes intense pain and can potentially result in permanent damage to the penis. For this reason, the venom became the object of interest of scientists who saw its potential to develop a remedy for the treatment of erectile dysfunction. In an attempt to understand, from a pharmacological point of view, the mechanisms that generate spider venom induced priapism. Several years ago researchers from the Medical College of Georgia isolated the component responsible for this condition from the venom. This compound, after dilution, was administered to rodents. Tests have shown that it makes it easier to achieve an erection. Now, researchers from UFMG, led by Professor Maria Elena de Lima, have developed a synthetic version of this compound and want to test it on men suffering from erectile dysfunction. A synthetic compound called BZ371A was also tested on rodents. Scientists prepared a gel from it and spread it on the groins of animals, which caused erections. As the researchers explained, this is because both spider venom and its synthetic counterpart cause the body to release nitric oxide, which in turn increases blood flow to the genitals. Viagra works in a similar way. What's more, the gel also worked in older rodents and in those with high blood pressure or diabetes, suggesting that this approach may work in humans who cannot take Viagra for these reasons. It should be noted that Viagra and other potency drugs do not work for everyone. About 30% men experience no effect after taking the blue pill. In addition, Current potency drugs carry the risk of complications, especially in people with hypertension, diabetes or liver problems. Brazilian scientists have already conducted pilot studies of BZ371A on men and women. Tests on a small group of people showed that the gel used in local treatment is safe for humans. It causes vasodilation and an increase in local blood flow, regardless of other stimuli, facilitating an erection. However, more thorough and comprehensive research will be necessary to determine whether it is a true alternative to Viagra.
Tests so far have shown that the compound works with minimal amounts and without any toxicity. It is practically not detected in the bloodstream, said Maria Elena de Lima. Its big advantage is that the approval of topical drugs is usually much faster due to the lower risk of side effects. Moreover, the drug candidate has already shown that it does not cause any side effects, even after high doses, she added. Further clinical trials are planned in which the agent will be tested in men with erectile dysfunction. Scientists hope that the drug will also be effective against sexual dysfunction in women. The scientists behind the research emphasize the value of maintaining biodiversity in the animal kingdom. Areas of high diversity, such as tropical rainforests, are full of bioactive compounds that have the potential to serve as medicines. However, the vast majority of these compounds have not yet been identified.